Hello everyone, this is Daniel Chris from Priest of Facts, and this is Priest of Facts Extra Episode number 87. We're going to be doing something that is a little bit fun today, so this is uh, something that I kind of thought about, and this is one that I would like to do here is talk about dinosaur fauna that I want to see in a paleo documentary or paleontology documentary. So, like, you know, because since that, uh, the new Walking with Dinosaurs uh, series is going to be coming next year, uh, they they have kind of announced uh, some of the uh, main characters, uh, so to speak, uh, in three or four episodes already. It's still going to be six episodes. But what I want to do is talk about dinosaur fauna. So basically rock formations or ecosystems of those rock formations that I want to see in a paleontology documentary. You know, whether if it's like a walking with dinosaurs format, whether if it's like, say, a prehistoric planet format or life on our planet format, whatever it is. You know, whatever type of uh, paleo documentary uh, could be you could be like the uh, catalyst or the ways the inspiration for. But anyway, let's actually get started with the first dinosaur fauna that I would like to see in a paleontology documentary. First is the Baharia Formation, and so the Baharia Formation uh, is uh, found in Egypt. And uh, it's a late Cretaceous uh, uh, type of fauna uh, that we have here. So the dinosaur fauna, uh, even though there's some highlighted in this uh, image right here, uh, that which includes Spinosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. Now, Spinosaurus will show up in the Walking with Dinosaurs uh, our rebo reboot. And uh, I don't know if Carcharodontosaurus is going to be in that. I don't think they have announced that yet. But... From my understanding, Spinosaurus is going to, but where where this is taking place is going to be in Morocco, and so, but Spinosaurus has been found in Morocco, but the OG or the original Spinosaurus uh, came from Egypt, and so uh, the Baharia formation is what I would like to see in a paleontology documentary. I know Planet Dinosaur uh, did kind of talk about this formation a little bit, but. Uh, the fa the fauna in this uh, in that episode didn't they didn't really get a whole they didn't get really deep into it. Uh, I think they added in like some dinosaurs that were found in like say in Niger, Nigeria, uh, Morocco, you know all those all those sorts of places. But uh, I would probably say that this is one I would like to see in like a Parala Titan. Uh, that one has been featured a little bit, but I want to see more discussed about this dinosaur. Uh, there's even like a couple of uh, there's another di there's a cu couple of cu couple of other sauropods. There's an abelosaur, but of course you got uh, Bahariosaurus, and you also have uh, Spinosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus uh, being featured on there, and and also you got some crocodile forms uh, that were there too, uh, some fish, and even a plesiosaur has been found in this uh, rock formation. And so, yeah, this is one I would love to see in a paleontology documentary uh, at some point. But Walking with Dinosaurs is going to be taking the Walking with Dinosaurs episode about Spinosaurus is taking place in Morocco. It's because it's we're finding more Spinosaurus uh, specimens uh, lately is in Morocco. Um, not too much has been happening in Egypt that much, and so I would like to see uh, more research done in this um, rock formation uh, in Egypt uh, at some point. But like in a paleontology documentary, this is a, a rock formation that I would love, love to see uh, in a paleontology uh, documentary uh, at some point. Next is the Ufo Tang Formation. The Ufo Tang Formation, uh, and this is a and this is a rock formation that is in China. It is in the early Cretaceous period, and what we're looking at here is like some of the like smaller uh, creatures that have been found in this rock formation. And so you got like uh, like Microraptor, some of the uh, very bird-like dinosaurs. Uh, I know there has been some, there has been like 
some ideas of like there has been some uh, sauropods that have been found there, but that has not been fully confirmed yet. Um, but uh, from my understanding, there is plenty of of uh, of like theropods. They're mainly the smaller theropods. And you got like the mammalian forms, uh, some of the early birds, uh, pterosaurs. Uh, like yeah, there is a lot that is there. Uh, even like Cetacosaurus. I would love to see Cetacosaurus in a paleontology documentary because uh, that could be a main character or even Microraptor can be a ma the main character uh, of that type of episode. The UFO tang formation, that that is definitely one I would love to see in a paleontology documentary. I know there ha I know Microraptor has been shown a little bit, um, mainly in like uh, Prehistoric Park and also... Uh, in Planet Dinosaur, but I would love, love to see more talked about like this type of ecosystem because I think this could, this ecosystem should be further uh, should be shown a little bit more uh, to the public because it's because you got amazing amazing uh, uh, like creatures of heaven in that are in this like rock formation in this ecosystem and you got well-preserved feathers in that rock too and so let's move on to the next one next is the prince creek formation so this is a rock formation found in alaska this is a late cretaceous period um this rock formation or this ecosystem has been discussed slightly not a lot but slightly um prehistoric planet did actually feature nanuxaurus uh, I think there was some Edmontosaurus type of uh, uh, cre uh, dinosaurs that have been found that have been shown in that up in that part of the episode uh, where Nanuxaurus is featured. But uh, you got you have your Troodontids. You also have some, you also have Dromaeosaurus uh, in feature Pachyrhinosaurus a little bit more too. I would love to see this uh, type of ecosystem be shown a little bit more because this has not been discussed too much like there has been some pbs documentaries that have shown this one even a national geographic uh documentary that has talked about this but a little bit not a lot but a little bit but i would love to see more of this because i think this would be really really cool uh to see in a paleontology documentary like a walking with dinosaurs type of format because i think this could work uh in some ways, because um, the, Nor the Arctic uh, type of dinosaurs haven't been discussed that much. And so this is one I would love, love to see in a paleontology documentary. Next is the Winton Formation, Australian uh, rock formations in, in terms of dinosaurs have not been talked about a lot. Like not a lot of paleontology documentaries talk about uh, Australia that much at all um, besides like the big megafauna uh, in the Pleistocene where you have like the giant wombats, giant kangaroos, uh, the marsupial lion, megalania, you know those were those are the animals that get discussed a lot more about Australia but their dinosaurs are not talked about that much and but even though that dinosaurs are very rare in Australia but I would love to see like a whole thing about about um, dinosaurs in Australia. But the winter formation, that is definitely one that I would love to see uh, in there. Because you have all different uh, things actually. There's crocodile forms. There's Ornithian dinosaurs, or ornithopod type of dinosaurs. Uh, you have some sauropods, of course, you know, like like uh, Australotitan, uh, Dimentinosaurus, excuse me, Savannosaurus, uh, Winter Titan, uh, Australovenator, you know, like those types of dinosaurs. I will love, 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 love to see in there. But like also feature like other like types of dinosaurs in like the late Cretaceous period or even like in the Jurassic, because those types of dinosaurs in Australia need to be talked about a little bit more. Um, 
if you want to check out my uh, video that I have done about Australian dinosaurs, uh, I, I hope you guys can check that out. Um, it's in the extra episodes video. It's in the extra episodes um, category. If you click on that you, or hit that, you can look through the extra episodes. You might find Australian dinosaurs in there. And so, yeah, uh, the winter formation is one formation that I would love to see uh, in a paleontology documentary. And so we'll, we will move on to the next rock formation that I would love to see uh, in a paleontology documentary. And that is the Kayenta Formation. And, uh, and so th this rock formation uh, is in like in the early, Jura like the late Triassic, early Jurassic uh, of North America in this kind of time. And uh, this, this is something I would like to see in a paleontology documentary. I want to see uh, like all like the different types of dinosaurs and other types of animals that were around there, like some of the early mammalian forms. Uh, you got your early crocodile forms. Uh, you also still have some remaining archosaurs that are still around. Uh, but you also have some like really, really neat dinosaurs there, like Dilophosaurus uh, is is found in there. Um, uh, there's even like uh, Coelophysis has been found in there. It's a different type of Coelophysis. Uh, there's a Heterodontidae uh, that has been found there. Uh, there's Sarasaurus, uh, Skeletosaurus, Scutellosaurus, that armored dinosaur. Like those are those are dinosaurs that I would love love to see in here and see in a paleontology documentary. I know Coelophysis is featured in many paleontology documentaries, but this is a different species of Coelophysis that is going to be featured in there. Even though it is, I th yeah, it is a Coelophysis cante kt uh, that is that I would like to see to be featured. It is a smaller theropod dinosaur. Uh, but Dilophosaurus is considered to be the largest dinosaur in that rock formation. And so this is something I would love to see uh, in a paleontology documentary. This whole dinosaur fauna uh, there, because the early, like late Triassic, early Jurassic, like right around that time of the Triassic extinction, but basically just right after the Triassic extinction, uh, to actually see like how dinosaurs... Uh, got bigger and also really uh, took their foot took put their stamp onto the onto the onto the earth of becoming the dominant life forms uh, on the planet you know and getting larger in the meat eating dinosaurs uh, starting to show features that would indicate that they're gonna become like bigger uh, or even smaller or even like uh, like adapted for like different sorts of things, going after different types of prey and all that sorts of stuff. I would love to see this type of thing as how evolution really just took, just started to uh, like hit the gas uh, on dinosaur evolution is that dinosaur evolution just got pressed, the gas pedal was pressed and pretty much just decided to take off. You know, but I want to ask you guys this. What types of dinosaur fauna would you love to see in a paleontology documentary? So give me some obscure, like, uh, dinosaur fauna that has not been discussed in a paleontology documentary. And, get, and have people get to know these, like, creatures, too. Because I would love to know what you guys think. Because, like, we all get to see the Hell Creek Lance Formation, the Morrison Formation, you know, those types of formations in uh, paleontology documentaries. But those are ma mainly in North America. We like to see some more like in Europe. We want to see more in Africa. We want to see more in South America. We want to see more in Australia. Uh, give me a couple more or not in Asia. You know, like I want to see more. I want to see more uh, of uh, like types of dinosaurs and ecosystems uh, in the Mesozoic era to be featured in a paleontology documentary, but give me your, give me your good best one. Give me the ones that you think should deserve to be featured in a paleontology documentary. 
And so the next episode will be in August 22nd, 2024. So that's coming up pretty soon. And that'll be a special episode. Let you guys know what I'm prehistoric I'm going to talk about. So stay tuned for that. You can also send me questions about dinosaurs and other prehistoric life by emailing me at donochris71 at gmail.com. Let's go to my Facebook page, Prehistoric Facts of Dino Chris. Like the page. You have to post your questions in the comment section. Please put them in the comment section. Don't put them on Messenger. Messenger is a private conversation. So please put your questions in the comment section on any Facebook post. And also for YouTubers out there, like the video, subscribe to the channel. According to my analytics, I'll leave you guys. So check it out my channel not sus- subscribed yet so please feel free to hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button because that's how the youtube algorithm works the more likely the video the more likes the video gets the more likely it gets uh, spread out to people that are interested in dinosaurs prehistoric life paleontology and geology in general so please feel free to do so and also share the video share the channel to anybody that is interested in dinosaurs prehistoric life paleontology and geology in general so please feel free to do so and also hit that notification bell so that way you can get weekly notifications of every video that comes out and also for you to present there feel free to leave your questions in the comment section because i do read them all your questions do mean a lot on the q a episodes and it means a lot and all of you to send to me uh questions via email facebook and youtube you guys are awesome you're giving me some great questions for the q a episodes and also make sure you keep your questions short to the point you can also follow me on instagram at down out to chris the pf i post pretty cool stuff on there you can also follow me on threads it's the same, same thing at down out to chris the pf i post pretty cool stuff on there as well also, take care of people around you, and also for younger people out there, and it makes a listening to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you can have for good education. It's very important to have good education. with a good education, you get a good job in the future. That's it for now, Now I'll see you guys next time.